everyone! My name is Kara. I am the art teacher at Arts for Life at Mission Hospital in Asheville, North Carolina. Welcome to our virtual studio where we believe that art is for everyone. This week on Midweek Masterpiece, we're going to be making a peace sign paper sculpture. A little three-dimensional sculpture is very easy to make, so I'll show you how to do it. First, I'll show you what we need. We'll need a piece of plain paper. I'm using cardstock. It's pretty thick. Any paper will do. Um, if you don't um, have, yeah, printer paper is just fine if you don't have cardstock. And then if you have it, construction paper is great. I'm using a piece of black color paper. You can use any color that you want. And if you don't have construction paper, that's okay. We can just make it with the one piece of paper. So go ahead with that. Okay, so we've got our paper. You'll also need a pencil and an eraser, a very ultra fine permanent marker, markers for coloring. Um, I've got fine ones, you can use thick ones. If you don't have those, or if you prefer, you can use colored pencils. Um, you could even use watercolor. So that's what we'll need. And two more things, we'll also need a glue stick and a stapler. If you don't have a stapler, you can use just a glue stick, but a uh, stapler is preferred. All right, I will um, adjust the camera angle and I'll see you in just a second. All right, here we are from overhead. We are going to be making a peace sign paper sculpture. Here's our example. So the first thing that we'll do is go ahead and grab your paper and grab a pencil. Usually I would use a pencil, but for this video so that you can see my lines, I'm going to use a permanent marker. So I'm going to first trace my hand. You'll put your hand very flat on the paper. It's good to be on a hard surface. And then um, lay your wrist down also to the paper, um, and you're going to go ahead and trace around your hand. Hold the pencil or the pen straight up and down. For little kids, I tell them that this kind of tickles a little bit, but that that's okay. And it's really fun to be able to trace your hand because you just have a piece of art just ready to be made right there. It doesn't take any special skill or anything. And then remember to go to down your wrist when you get there. Lift your hand. All right, now the next step is to cut out your hand. And that is the other thing I forgot to tell you. We do need scissors. So grab your scissors and go ahead and start to cut out your hand. Um, just go around all of the, all the edges there. And to save time for this video, I have one already cut out. So I'm gonna set this aside and I'll show you the cut out one. All right, so once you've cut out the hand, you've got it all ready to go, you can grab your construction paper. Now on the construction paper, we're going to trace this again. A pencil works great if you have dark construction paper. So um, trace around your hand. All right, and then once you have your piece traced, you'll cut it out. And again, to save time for this video, I've already cut one out. So we have two hand shapes, they match up, and we're gonna glue them together. I've got my glue stick, and just be sure to put glue all over the hands all the way to the fingertips and everything. Good amount of glue there. All right, Let's 
see if that's enough. There we go. And rub it on, rub it together very well. I use the fingernail to press it. That looks pretty good. Cool. All right. So now the fun part where we get to decorate it. So here's my example. Um, you can make yours any way that you like, but what I like to do is to go ahead and divide it into some smaller sections. So on this example one, I did a big peace sign in the middle. Do you know how to draw a peace sign? It's really simple. It's a big circle and a line down the middle and then one line about about like at a two-thirds down or so and then two-thirds down on the other side too and that's a peace sign so then you can also draw a line at the base of the fingers Draw a line at the base of the thumb, maybe at the base of the hand. And then we can start to put in some patterns. I have a pattern sheet. You can see some of the patterns on this, for examples. I've also got this page of patterns that we can look at. So here's different lines and patterns. There's straight lines. Thick lines, thin lines, parallel, spirals, zigzags, cross hatching, you can do letters, fish scales, or just some scribbles. Those are always fun. So what we'll do is pick a pattern for every section of the hand. And for younger kids, you can do bigger patterns. You don't have to very, be very detailed. Adults like to do really detailed, small patterns sometimes. So here's our pattern sheet. I'll set it here so you can see it. And then I'll be drawing right here next to it. So let's see, maybe hash, hatching is what they call this. It's one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then you do the opposite. So we'll go in the opposite way. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then you just fill up. So this part, I'll just do part of the lines to fill it in. You just go opposite of the lines above it. Let's do might just fit one line depending on the size of your section. So there's one. And then we're going to keep going. Let's see, maybe this could be some triangles. Just triangles next to each other in a line. You kind of have to imagine when you get to the edge. What would that pattern look like when it goes outside of that section? And you can use a pencil if you want to make sure that everything looks just right. And then you can trace it with your marker. I'm just going for the marker right off. Let's see. Wavy lines maybe. I know I can't, you can't see this whole sheet here. Let's move it to some other ones. The chevron looks pretty neat. It's like a V shape upside down. So we do those. upside down V's next to each other and just go till you fill up your section all right and then you can design each finger on on mine 
I went ahead and did like big one big pattern on the hand on the finger. So I like a wavy line on this finger. There's a big wavy line and it can end it in a spiral. You can do whatever pattern you like. Here I'm also going to do it's kind of like a radial design. It's like a rays of a sun coming out from one spot. And here again, rays of a sun coming out. Maybe I'll do some lines next to each other here. Just trace against the lines that are there. Same shape, same waviness, like that. Now, with this, um, when I put the bend the fingers in toward the end of our project, they're going to look like this. So you can probably guess where you want to put most of your effort in drawing. You're going to want to really decorate the first two fingers. And you're really going to want to decorate the palm of the hand and the wrist because those are the parts that you're going to see. You don't need to worry as much about the thumb and these two fingers. You can do maybe like just color it one color something like that. All right, let's see, maybe let's do something with this finger. We'll look at my pattern sheet again. Do you see anything cool? I wish I could hear you and t know what you're recommending, but let's try those stars. Stars look pretty cool. Okay, so some stars. Big stars, just fill up that finger. Big stars. Oops, I made a mistake, but that's okay. We can just make that part of the art. I hope you know that mistakes are okay. There's a star. So it doesn't have to look perfect, just fun. Now we can color them in. I like yellow stars. can do a blue background. And you can take your time, get really close into the stars here, or you can just kind of give an impression of it. Have you been out to look at the stars lately? They've been looking really pretty when it's not raining. All right. And maybe we'll put some yellow on some of these wavy lines here. And then you can, I like to do this, just skip a line and then do the next one. So it, you can go, just leave one line in between and then do yellow again. Now, every other line, well, let's make it red. And of course for yours, use whatever colors you like, whatever patterns you like. It's fun to color. I find it really relaxing. Hmm. What color are we missing? I'm missing like green. That would be nice. Let's get some green in here. There's some green. Maybe some orange. I'll do a little light green because we have this one extra space to fill. All right, so you'll keep going with your colors and um, you fill in 
I would go ahead and put a pattern all in here, the thumb, well, not as much the thumb, but mostly in here and on the wrist. Go ahead and fill those up. So I'm going to skip ahead and show you how to finish your hand when you have your patterns drawn and you like the way it looks, and you've colored it in. The next thing we'll do is make a peace sign. Do you know how to make a peace sign with your hand? It's like the same way that you hold up the number two and you put your thumb over your ring finger and your pinky finger like this like peace peace friends do you know what peace means it means so many things to so many people but it means being very gentle and kind it means let's all be friends it means a lot of things tell me what it means to you it's a good thing to talk to people about because everyone has a different idea of what peace means okay so I am grabbing my things that I need. You could use the glue stick for this, but because my paper is thick, I'm gonna use my stapler. We're gonna bend thumb on your paper in, and then we're going to bend in the ring finger and the pinky finger. I find that the order that works best for this is Let's see, it doesn't really matter, but the ring finger is the longest. So I made a little sandwich out of it. Pinky finger underneath, thumb on top. Hold them like this. You might need to get someone to help you for this part. We have to be very careful to move our fingers out of the way, but we're going to staple it. So if you need an adult, ask for some help. Here I am trying to do it. Let's see, I think I got it. I'm pressing down hard. Click, click, I got it. All right, so the next part, when you cut out your hand, I hope you saved a little piece of scrap paper. So something like this, and let's draw just a little shape. You can make a heart or you can make a peace sign you can make a square or a triangle too, but let's see. Let's see, you could do a, a, another peace sign, a circle, line down the middle, a line at two thirds, a line at two thirds, there's a peace sign, or a heart. And then you can draw a pattern inside of those shapes. And you can color it in and then cut it out. So, I already have these cut out. Let's go ahead and use the heart. That's my favorite. So to cover up our staple, we're gonna glue this little heart on. Put a lot of glue right there. And then cover up your staple and pinch it and hold it. There we go. So if this was all colored in, it would look something like this. I hope you have got something similar. And if you need to color it later, that's fine. You can keep working on this as long as you need. Well, I will meet you in just a second. All right, ta-da! We made a peace sign paper sculpture. I hope you've enjoyed creating with me today. I've enjoyed creating with you. And thank you for turning, tuning into Arts for Life Virtual Studio, where we believe that art is for everyone. And if you would like to show us what you made, please post a picture in the comment section down below. And remember, art is for everyone. Hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.